Okay, look at these two cupboard units. Uh, this one's HP Trip. Uh, it's only got one fan, so we had some really hot weather Friday. So I expect it's gone off, obviously it's not a fair flow. We've got another motor, so we'll fit that today. Um, these used to be six pole motors or something. They did um, 900-ish RPM, but they were banned because they weren't energy efficient enough. The replacements are four pole motors that do 1200 RPM, so we'll probably have to put a fan speed control on there to slow them down because in the winter it will take too much heat out. Here it's not working, so but the condenser is quite clear on that one. Uh, this one, it's not working well. It's got a little fur coat on it, so maybe it's HP trip again. Good thing with these, they put manual reset in. There we go. Manual reset HP switch. So that's probably the problem. Uh, I'm not sure, get the torch on there, whether that's got dirt in the centre of the coil or whether it's just on the surface, so we might get away with brushing it, I might I'll probably get a little jet washer out and give it a wash while I'm here, might as well. these things when they're designing them. If you can't get the genuine cupboard ones where they can't work for these, you can get these ones from Pole Star. And rather than it coming, not the proper ones would come with that spider mount frame or whatever they call that. Uh, these come with a, a guard, but if you undo the bolts, uh, the bolt pitch is the same, the spacing's the same as on there, and you just need to swap that over. Um, I think I put a bit of thread lock on them just to kind of uh, stop them coming undone and sort of semi waterproof them because I'm not sure whether these bolt holes are open to the windings. Lots of water getting in through that gap here and in. Anyway, that's just what I do. Okay, giving this a wash out. It wasn't as bad as that one. You can see a few of the bits has come through and stuck to the wall. It's better than it was. <coughs> see these ones come out, they've got some like red Loctite on them. So these ones have some on there. But I don't think these factory ones do. These are EBM, EBM Pabst or whatever they are, something like that. Motors, they're good quality motors. These ones are just probably made in China, but you know, what can you do? Okay, that's that one on there. I think the, the front sticks out a bit more. Well, I seem to remember it, it fits okay, but we'll, we'll see when we put the cover back on. Uh, that's that Loctite I was using on the threads. It's like a little squeezy thing, uh, like a pit stick. I've had that for years. I think it's got an expiration date on there, but you know, as far as I know, it still works. Set that cover back on, and there, I don't know if you can see, there is a bit of a gap. A half inch, three quarters of an inch, um, between the end of the uh, rotor and the cover, so they do fit in there.
got a, got a new um, capacitor fitted in, it's a 6. Uh, this one looks like it's a 3. Um, and the one we took out was a 5, so... I've got a feeling the... Uh, we're, I'm not sure which way around it is, but well, so they're two different speed. The original motors is probably had a different capacitor to the factory replacement. Um, that might be the three and the five, and the six is what our new one needs. So anyway, got a common uh, capacitor connection there, which probably just goes off to oh, that looks like it's a neutral bar because it's got a link in there in the centre. That white piece. Uh, it's probably just linking all those one, two, three, four, five, five terminals are probably all just neutrals. So that's picking up a neutral for the capacitor. The black off of that is the neutral for the other fan. And then that probably that spare hole is for this fan. And then we've got probably a live, which might be that, 18 there. So a blue, and then we've got a brown as well. So another black. Our black wire there is the capacitor, so that hole there is the capacitor for the fan. Um, I'll figure out where the live goes here. Hmm. It might have gone in with that, I don't know. There's no diagram with these. Some, of them, some kit, they put a the little diagram on the lid of the electrical box, but you just don't get that with Hubbard. might have had a paper one in there and certainly people who put it in might have walked off with it. That happens quite a lot. Anyway, I'm sure we'll figure it out. If you do a lot of these little springy terminals, it's worth getting one of these things. It's a Wago, it's like a 210. And you do different size ones. Uh, and you just put it in the uh, little hole. And then you can lever it over. And it releases the tension, and because it's got that crank in there, your hands out of the way where you want to poke the wire in. If you've got a screwdriver, sometimes it's getting away. And then sometimes, if you want to get a bit more leverage, you can put it around the other way. Or if there's there's something over this way stopping it, you know, you can angle. You can put it in either way. But there, there's just a handy little thing to have. Well, get a diagram with it. Um, Brown's live, black is neutral, and blue is capacitor. So that's our blue, which is that terminal there. And then across from that is the black wire of the capacitor. The other wire of the capacitor is joined into that the existing white box, so they've got two into one there. Um, and that's in the neutral bath. And this shows the neutral is the black and the other is to lead. So the black off the fan is that one goes into there which is in the neutral. And then the live, we've swapped, traced it about. And that, that live there that does the other fan, the live goes in the blue, um, goes around to here. And then we've got a bit two-way link in there. So those, those four terminals are all live at the same time. So we've put our fan live, which is the brown wire on our new one. Find that little diagram. In there. So that should be right. There's a time delay on this. I think that's, I think that's a time delay. <coughs> well, that one started up straight away really quick. This one's quite a lazy starter, so I think we'll check that capacitor um, is any good. And also, if we can get a mirror on it, we might check it's the right one for the motor. Because, uh, like I say, there was a five and a three in there, so. Um, 
that might even want a five on it. I'll probably check the old motor and see what that one says it is. I suspect the three uses the low speed fan. There's a lot more air coming out of the bottom one, so that probably is a low speed fan, so... Okay, got fan speed control wired in. Uh, we can try off that port there, but the shade is messed up. Um, pin sticks out too far, and it, every time you try and screw it in, it, it, the pressure comes out and pushes the copper washer out of the way. You can't get it to seal, so we've gone off that, which also got a shader port in it. But that one looked a bit too low, so hopefully it's going to depress it enough to send the pressure up to the speed controller. We've got that wired in, we've got the earth. It's counting down now, so it can start in a minute. Uh, that's our live in, which is where one of the fans was. That's our that's, uh, speed control live back. And that's our new fan, and that's the existing one on the other blue. So it should fire up, but I think this is a cutout. So it won't run the fans at all until it gets up to a certain pressure and then they'll slowly ramp up. Whereas you can get ones that are minimum speed and they'll always sort of run the fans a tiny bit. And I do sometimes find where on the newer stuff where the condensers are really good, even on minimum speed it's too fast in the winter time. So I've, I've started stocking the cutout ones rather than min minimum speed. Anyway, fingers crossed, it'll work. They just kicked in, these didn't come on straight away, but they come on pretty soon after and they are gradually speeding up. Well, I've got some heat in that liquid line now. Too hot. Speed them up a bit, that is really warm. Mind you, it's working hard now, so I might check the voltage, it might even be on full speed by now, and it's just kind of working hard. It's a fairly, uh, it's a multi deck, dairy deck sort of thing, so it's probably, and it does two cabinets, so they cycle independently. If they're both on, it will uh, be working hard. Okay, it's all back together, running. I don't think I've heard that one turn off yet. I just find the door, so it's probably, probably working out. Every time the door opens, it gets a little warm air blown into it. 